Kayla versus Zayan. Now, this is Lily. Yeah, so if you're wondering where season two is, like Lily. So, this is a video finally, finally, finally for season two. It's Kayla versus Cheyenne. These are two girls that taught me a lot of examples in life. What these were were Jews with two girls that are in denial, that are playing hard to get, and they both had to submit to me, you know, eventually. But the way they did was really, really foul. And I'm going to tell you, like, Lily, this is one of the greatest verses out. These were one of the aspects of season two that I was saving, but I got so caught up in Don's I forgot about season two. So this is one of the greatest, great versus battle of season two, and this is Kayla versus Cheyenne. So Lily, let me start off with Kayla. So Kayla, these girls I both met on Facebook. One I met in school, and then they added me out of nowhere as Lily Crickery, saying that Lily, okay, so stop being horny, and we might, you know, work with you. But, you know, the first one was a girl who was kind of naive because, like, Susan Junior High, and I was in high school, and I was really, I was really, I was begging, 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 so I tried to have my face fast you with Kayla, and it did work, but it did work, because you know why? What happened was this, and Lily, this is Lily, why people are so foolish, so I met Kayla, was I messaged her, this and that, and I asked her if she wanted to fuck, and she was like, oh, well, where would we go? So basically, you know, all that validation, this, this and that, and then all that, thing, it went down and down and down, and she said, literally, she's like, like, and once they did this and that, she's like, ah, ha, ha, this is not laughing up, and then, I'm really, I'm trying to tell her, I'm like, so when are we gonna do it? And she's all like, well, I wanna do it with somebody I've been in a relationship with. And I'm like, no, 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 this is not like, please, 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 really, horny as fuck, really, horny as fuck, really, message you the fuck out for trying to get that ass every single fucking day. Lily messaged her, she's like, stop, you're a creep, this and that, but she hasn't bought me, she hasn't done anything like Lily, this and that, she's like, you're so dirty, this and that, she's like, you should be more respectful of girls, this and that, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, you know what, stop, and so Lily fucking, and then I try to apologize to her, I'm like, you know what, you should accept my apology, you know, instead of, like, being a little bitch, and she's all like, I'm not being a bitch, you're being disrespectful, sorry, but that's reality, sweetie, I'm like, okay, I'm like, I like how you're calling me, sweetie, I wonder how you taste, <laughs> She's like, oh my god, you freak. And then literally, I keep on texting her over and over again. She's like, no, no means no. And I keep on trying to tell her over and over again, please, please, please. And she's, really, she's like, no, no, no means no. And so I literally, I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't fucking think, <laughs> fucking think anymore. You know what? I try to use the reverse psychology. And I said, you know what? Forget you. Even if you have her beautiful, juicy ass. And she's all like, <laughs> She's like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, nope, and Lily, the next fucking morning, and then I tried talking to her again, and she's like, you know, she's like, nope, the last thing you said to me, you're a fucking pervert, I'm like, please, she's like, <laughs> I cried every excuse in the fucking book, and so you know what I did, so Lily, I tried using reverse psychology, I'm like, Lily, I'm like, like, you know what? Just block me and stuff like that. So I told her, like, you know what? You, you, just block me. And she's all like, and she's like, you block me because you're the one being thirsty. <laughs> and so I come back. And I'm all like, I can't. I'm being too lazy. She's like, just block me when you get active. Bye. But there's a specific reason why this is a versus battle. This isn't just literally just, you know, being horny and shit. This is actually a really deep storyline. You think this is just comedy? No, this is real fucking shit. I was like a teenager struggling, boiling with hormones after already earning so so phrases, after being able to dance, being able to make an A and V, after literally being able to have multi missile conversations with my friend Robert, aka Arturo. Literally this and that. I had so many things. I should have had a girlfriend by now. And you have to understand, even though that shit it may be funny for your guys, that was a very traumatic know, experience for me because Lily, my fucking blood is boiling, my cum is boiling, and Lily, I'm trying to talk to this fucking girl, and Lily, the last thing I need is to be teased and have unlogical explanations to why she teased me, and she kept on making the excuse that she was young and shit like that when she already agreed, like, no, that's not, it. like, you have to understand, so what happened was, Lily, there was this one day when Lily freaking, I stepped my game up, and I, Lily, I started going to this carnival that Lily was at my local city. So what happened was this Lily, I went to this car with Lily, Kayla happened to be there, and Lily, she was tall as fuck, and Lily, what she saw, she saw me from a distance, and then Lily, and she was wearing her dress and shit, and so what happened was this, like, she knew it was me, but she wanted me to make the first move since I met her on Facebook, so Lily, what happened was this, she stared at me, and Lily, she started bouncing up and down, and she, I was looking at her titties bouncing up and down, Lily, Lily, 
And so she's of age at this point to Lily. So I really, I'm looking at her titties bouncing up and down, Lily. She's trying to pretend like nothing fucking happened. And you know what? That is a shitty ass concept. That is a very, 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 very shitty situation. Do not ever get that. I'm so used to situation. If you ever wonder like, where, like why I'm so called a smooth criminal for killing shit like that, it's because she already gave me fucking consent and she's trying to play all these fucking games. That's what you have to understand about girls in life. Like, not just girls, but people will play you at life like that, literally. You earn it over and over and over again, then they try to literally deprive you from it. But there's an even bigger story behind Kayla than what makes her a really, really, this W a really, really epic verse about. I don't think this is just being horny and shit. Because I came up both of them the same way, but both of them showed me two different sides of girls. And why they're all the same. So basically it's like this, but this is really, they're really, really different, you know, timelines. It's not like they're the same person, so I, I, I'm putting it like this. So, Fan Made 2019 came up, and literally what happened was, when they tried to label me a predator, Kayla was the first one to repost. What they did was they made, like, literally a poster of me as Oi Mori and shit like that, saying that I'm a predator, saying that this and that. So Kayla, after literally me talking to her on Facebook and stuff like that, see literally tried to act real new and say, this guy Lee. I was already, we were following each other at Instagram at this point, and she tried to label me a predator. See, he posted on her storyline me being a predator and shit like that like I was a victim of him too and just like that so what happened was this and fucking Kayla did that and fucking what happened was this is Lily I unfollowed her and like Lily this and that so I blocked Kayla I didn't actually but I, I don't know why I did I did something like Lily to cut off contact and Lily, what I did was Lily I unfollowed her after she tried to repost the thing as a predator and shit like that. And so, Lily, when it did work, what happened was this, like, Lily, I got Lily. After I, Lily, was mislabeled, I had a hundred views on my Instagram story. And I, Lily, I looked at this, and like, Lily, I understand it was a setup, I understand it's that. So, after, Lily, I unfollowed Kayla, guess what happened? She's the one who starts following me. So, she followed me after I unfollowed her. Lily, and that shows you girls like bad guys. I'm sorry, it's no running around it. Girls love bad guys. Girls lo absolutely adore bad guys. Do not think that women do not like bad guys. Kayla showed me right then and there that she loves a bad boy, partially because she was in denial, and the bad boy is specifically the guy who brings out the denial in her. That's the whole point of the bad guy. That's the whole point of Lily this guy. You can claim that you want me from all, but you're human just like everybody else. And that's really where the school Jack Lily gets away with grabbing ass, gets away with doing that. That is where that formula comes from. You have to understand this. So I admitted Lily. So she followed me after all that heavy shit. After really, really could have gotten in trouble. She followed me. And that let me know right there and there that Lily, girls love bad guys. But can you stay a bad guy forever? No. You can't block off opportunities in order for you to get jobs. You can't do that. You can't block off opportunities over and over again like that, Lily. You can't really put your life on the line for a girl. You can't do that all the time. I'm telling you, you can't. Like, that is Lily. The worst thing. So literally, after all that shit, after her tease bouncing, after her gave me consent, literally, try to lay this and that, like literally, that is the story behind me and Kayla. Now, me and her are cool now because Mine things died down, but best believe that was a shitty ass angle that she came at me with, and literally, that's why she had to submit, like, eventually. But it really, really shows you that girls really like bad guys. So what you have to do is you have to stay away from those girls. And Lily, you call it evil, like Lily, they, they say that I'm evil for fucking the girls that rejected me in high school, like, no, I understood, I moved on, I understood, like, this and that, they said that, yo, you shouldn't Lily get with her because that's kind of like a deadbeat dad coming to, like, Lily, your basketball performance after not paying child support, like, no, fuck out of here, completely different context, completely different feel, yeah, it might be the same level of fucking principal, but you gotta understand, like, Lily, I look at it as, yo, I came out of that dude's nutsack, and Lily, for me, it's nothing. It's no skin off my bones, Lily. I have no emotional attachments towards the shit in high school. They're like, Lily, and you have to understand that. And that's the same thing about Kayla was there back when I was desperate. Is he still here today? You know why? Because he realized he was fucking stupid for playing this game the entire time. And it all goes back to this golden principle. If you don't want to fuck, then don't give me say at all. That is how you play the game. You don't really, you don't tease them and go against your parents. If you're not allowed to fuck, then don't encourage somebody at all. That's what girls need to understand nowadays. If you are literally going to put yourself out there, do not expect any love. Because that's the formula of how girls get taken advantage of by real bad guys. Like, literally, that's going to end up them crossing the wrong bad guy who isn't just going to take the tease. He's going to say, what the fuck? Literally, you don't ever want to come back that. So, literally, so that's Kayla's side of the versus battle. Pretty, pretty, pretty fucking intense, right? Just imagine when we get to Cheyenne. Now, Cheyenne had the same fucking principle. So, what happened was this, so, literally, Cheyenne was a girl that, literally, I met at my school, but I had to become homeschooled because my school was too toxic. 
And really what happened was really they made an excuse for everyone. They made it for Arma. They made it, everybody who was cool who moved out. They're like, that doesn't change your current situation now. It's right now you have to deal with it. And it's not. It, it was fucking horrible. Like, literally, I would have been better at the Jewish school. I'm sorry, but literally, they, at the Jewish school, they would have been a lot more logical. It's like that, especially because most of the bitches smoke weed. It would have been really better, really, really, really easier for me to get into a conversation. Or literally, just fucking easier to, like, gain social approval in general. Oh, my fucking God. It was out there. So what Cyan did was she added me first and like Lily. So she really texted me and I keep on texting her perversion. I thought perversion. I'm like finally she added me first. That's a story and I'm ready to fuck. And Lily, she tried to get me to be nice. It's like it was too much, too much, too much. It's like Lily. So what happened was this. So Lily, I kept on talking to her and Lily, I tried to tell her Lily over and over again. So every time I text Cyan, it was about sex. Like in the beginning, nothing but sex. Sex, 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 like, please let me hit that. Please let me hit that over and over and over again. Like, literally, after over and over again, she's like, I already told you, I don't want to get my freak on. And it really, really fucking hurts. You see how literally she's teasing, but she's saying no at the same time. Don't ever fall for that shit, old woman. It's a really, really horrible thing. Like, literally, I kept on texting her over and over and over again. That ass, those lips, please. Let me tap that ass over and over and over again. Texas said, yeah, she's starting laughing at me and shit. Oh my God. But our whole point was, if I was nice, then she would actually date me. But I'm like, no, you can't. You have to be understanding that I was a kid. You're overflowed with hormones. Lily, you're giving me hope, and you're expecting me not to cling on to it. Like, Lily, fucking a little fucking piece of hope. Like, Lily, there was this one day, Lily, I told her that I was going on a date with Abby. And, Lily, that I was going to a hotel. And she said, don't get her pregnant. I'm like, what? Now you're the one thinking nasty. It, it, was, it was fucking stupid. <laughs> Lily, every single time, like Lily, what happened was I listened to Cheyenne, so here's another story where I kept on going sexual, sexual, sexual. Lily, she keeps on telling me to be respectful, she keeps on telling me to do this and that, like Lily, finding a different hobby, doing all this different shit, and I keep on texting her sexual, sexual, sexual. So I stopped texting her sexual for a while, then automatically she goes sexual. Lily, like Lily, why I stop talking about sexual? Why I stop talking about, you know, I'm in this thing called the Arrow, the AMH rap league, Lily, so like I link like some of my songs, and she's like, oh, okay, well, this and that, and Lily. She tells me how she has anxiety problems and like Lily, I'm like, you know, I used to have that, you know, I used to be a person like that, like So that's how our conversation went after I stopped being converted. I started being real and started talking about the shit that I was just doing, you know. You know, but what happened is she went automatically back to sex. She's like, it's just like, yo, I got some back lipstick. I'm like, no, you have to stop that shit. You told me to stop. It's not fair. And Lily, and no, over and over and over again, no, Cheyenne, Lily, this is a horrible position. This is Lily when you have to fuck Lily. Lily. That's where, this is what grilling is made for. This is why I had to gorilla. These two examples of girls are why I learned how to gorilla because of that bullshit. Nothing should drag on for that long at all. Like, Lily, so what happened is this and that's Lily. Fuck it. And Cheyenne, like, literally, there was this one time where I felt like I was in a spa when me and her were totally in love with Lily, when we were fucking just texting each other, and I literally, I felt daisy, like, Lily, fucking butterflies after Lily, I was talking to her and shit, and Lily, fucking, because he finally did sexual after I finally gave her a break, so guess what happened, so Lily, I tried meeting her, her, where not ever, what happened is, I got caught in her feminine spell, and I started saying shit that was feminine, while she and Lily just went back to tearing that ass up, and Lily, if I wear it, got blocked, by her, by Lily going to sexual, it would have been better than leading her on. I'm sorry. But Lily, that is Lily how I, like, Lily, that, I view that now because it dragged on to something completely fucking horrible. Mm. And so what happened was this, so Lily freaking, I stopped talking sexual for a while. Then she starts getting more sexual and sexual over time. And so Lily, so what I did was like, I knew I couldn't do anything if I started, if I started talking sexual, she was going to like Lily deny it and ignore it. So Lily fucking is like, oh, here we go again. So like, no, that's not called maturity. That's called running away from something you started. And every fucking girl does that. I'm telling you. So here's the thing I'm trying to tell you. Cyan really, 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 really pissed me off because it came down to this. When I stopped talking sexual, I started, I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I talk about like singers like James Blunt and shit like that, maybe she'll meet me halfway. And so I try to get inside of here. I'm like, yo, you, you don't like, like, stay with You don't like the school jock. Like, you don't like this chads. Like, you like the sophisticated guys. You like, you like James Blunt. And shit like that, like literally fucking grabbing dick, like literally fucking sophisticated people. Like literally, I started saying, Oh, you probably have the hots for this guy, this guy wearing the suit and stuff like that. Is how I was texting her. And she's like, And then you know what she replied with? She's like, You know what? You're still talking about stuff that I don't.
don't like him. Like, what? You're the one who's been stuck to for the most of the time recently. What, what, what are you talking about? This is that really. It, 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 it had no idea as to what happened. And see, was proof of wrong right then and there. And see, Lily, she's like, you know what? Goodbye, Eris. I hope you figure out what to do with your life. And, and she blocked me right then and there. Now, my popularity is enough to fuck shit I am. But still, you have to understand that. You have to understand. That's what happens when you let shit drag on. That's what happens when you literally, when you do people foul. That's what happens when you deny how you feel inside. That's literally, these are two examples. Like, this is a really, really good live story, a really, really good versus now because these two girls had to submit to me over time because they were running a race for something they started. You have to understand that, like, they were all submissive and shit like that, and all automatically into society standards came in, and so, I'm gonna give you a hint, that's how we naturally feel without society's influence, if we never had buildings, if we never had this and that, like, literally, like, this is how we'd be acting all day, 24-7, like, literally, so, you know what society even with? Well, we have to recognize that we do have buildings, we have to recognize that you are doing this and that, so, if we have buildings, instead of being horny, why are you pulling pranks? That's where I'm coming from. That's the reality of the situation. That's what you call a distraction. Like, why are you literally, think, like, really trying to fool me saying that we're not human at all? Yet we involved for fucking animals, but stop saying that we don't have animal DNA at all. This is like, the way that people came at me with, like, Lily, oh, fucking, don't act like nobody speaks in tongues. Don't act like nobody fucking says. Don't act like Lily, that, that we are fucking perfect. Like, we are still animals at the end of the day. And that's what I love from Kayla and Cheyenne. But you are intelligent. You have to recognize that music exists. You have to recognize that entertainment exists. You have to recognize that, Lily, that people. You have to let go of their homos in order to get shit done, but you have to recognize that we still have them. That is how you went out life, literally. Being very realistic, and shit, I'm gonna let you know what realistic standards are versus fake standards, and the yeah, realistic standards are really, really, really accepting what you can get, and literally making the best out of the situation. But fake standards is literally going above and beyond, literally trying to find a perfect partner that you look really beautiful with next to instead of a partner you actually get along with. That's literally like a video I'm gonna say for another day, but. And out for her do, without for her do, the victory goes to Kayla. Because see, Jay, we got all both validation first thing, and Lily, it didn't matter which way around it, Lily, cut cold and dry, C led me on, Lily, and Cyan could have gotten away with being eloquent if C didn't drag it on, and Lily, you have to understand, Kayla was there because I want people to understand the truth was with Kayla's first message. Kayla, first message, defined it all, defined this whole entire video, and that's what you need to do, you have to get knocked out right away, because literally, you lose your right to do that over time, if you let it drag on, and still view you as a whip, instead of somebody of a tits away, they think that shit is savage, when you're talking about that ass and shit, when you're talking about, oh man, those teens are hella bouncy, they love that shit, they absolutely love that shit, now the way they re react to it, like they may put you in jail, they may do put you that, but they are still aroused by you saying that, so that's a job of perspective, that's literally, that's you getting the last laugh in your mind, then they gotta take you out because it's like, oh I didn't need it, that happens every fucking time, okay, you have to understand that, like literally, but don't even, do, don't even go there, but recognize that that's the truth, don't, don't give them power to do that, but recognize that's what's going on, so the victory goes to Kayla, because Kayla was up front first thing, and she showed me 100% that she was human, even though like Lily, she went above and beyond trying to deny Lily. Fuck it. And she did the right thing at the right time, and Cyan regretted it. And Lily, Lily suffered, 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 suffered greatly from it. Where Kayla didn't stay in denial, where Kayla Lily stayed hungry, where Kayla followed me, where Kayla did this that You have to understand, like Lily, Kayla Lily understood what she was feeling, and Lily, she tried to be sophisticated after she admitted that she came from an animal, so that is how an actual animal evolved, Lily, they recognized that we have hormones and this and that, but they recognized, she recognized that she was putting herself in a bad position, acting like a slut, you have to understand that, so Lily, that is why Kayla gets the victory, because Lily, you going against your hormones, you going against this and that is way more inhumane than actually, you know, putting how you feel out there, I'm sorry, but the victory goes to Kayla.